a multi-dimensional array is not quite as otherworldly as it might sound on first hearing. It's quite a simple concept, really. If we look at a practical example of a way in which arrays can be arranged within different dimensions, we can see how what sense it can make within the context of programming Perl. A one-dimensional array could consist of three locations, left, middle, and right. However, because we're dealing in one dimension, we can't have any concept of forward or backward, up or down, and so on. A two-dimensional array, however, could take all the points of the compass and map them out onto our board here, rather like a noughts and crosses board, or like the points on a compass. So let's take a look at the way that would work within the context of a Perl script. If we were going to map the points of a compass onto an array, how would we do it? We could string them out one after the other, north, northeast, northwest, south, southeast, southwest, but that wouldn't really be maintaining the structure of the points of the compass. What we'd be doing instead would be putting them all into a long line, and then it would be difficult to easily access the right one if we wanted to refer to it later on down the line. Instead of doing that, what we could do is to create a multi-dimensional array. And multi-dimensional could just be two dimensions. Probably you won't need more than two dimensions, at least not to begin with anyway. So let's take a look at a way that we can do that. We're going to create an array called compass and we're going to need to put in nine values. The eight points of the compass and a central value as well, just for the sake of completeness. Instead of just putting brackets followed by northeast and so on, what we're going to do is we're going to use square brackets as well inside to demarcate each line of the multi-dimensional array, or the two-dimensional array in this case. So we're going to include northeast, north, I should use west first actually, if we're going to follow the way that it appears on paper. Close the square brackets, then we use another line, a comma to show another line of the array, and then it's west, center, east. And then close square brackets, another comma, and then southwest, south, and southeast. Close square brackets and close the round brackets, and we've created our multidimensional array. This is not very easy to read, is it? What we can do to make this kind of thing easy to read is to use indentation. We can split this kind of complicated line up over five different lines. And although it takes up more space, it also makes our program a lot easier to read. We can now still see the shape of the compass within our Perl script. That's the great thing about using the semicolons at the end of the lines in Perl. That means that we don't have to worry about each line of our program being treated as something separate, because until Perl gets to a semicolon, it's going to treat everything that we type as one line. So that's why the semicolons are a vital part of your Perl scripts. So what this line of code here is doing is it's effectively creating an outer array, and then it's creating three smaller ar arrays within it. That's all a multidimensional array is. It's as simple as that, an array of arrays. When we want to actually access an element within that array, we can simply type print. And once again, we're going to use the scalar context because we're aiming at one element within the array. And we're going to type 0, which means that we're going to be looking at the top line there. 
then we also have to refer to an element within that init array. So how do we do that? We put a little minus sign followed by a greater than to create what looks like an, an arrow. This is actually a reference, but we're not going to look too deeply into that at the moment. Just suffice it to say that this is the reference operator here, and we're able to access the second element of the first inner array of the compass two-dimensional array. Let's see what happens when we run that. We get n. Let's take a look back at our Perl script. This here represents the first line because we start with zero once again. And how do we tell which column we're going for? We've got one there, so if we count them, this is element zero, and this will be element one, or the second element. So that's how we create and access elements within a multidimensional array. This will become very useful as you need to create more complex data structures than just a simple list. Even if you don't use it right away, it's something that's good to bear in mind, and it's good to recognize when you're looking at other people's scripts so that you can work out what they're driving at.